know that wildfires are going to happen, but what can be done to make them less damaging and expensive? Fire managers on the Payette National Forest are using landscape scale fire management to prepare for future wildfires and also manage other natural resources such as wildlife, timber, and recreation. We know that wildfires have a greater impact when there is more fuel to burn. So by taking away some of the fuel that's available for wildfires, they will be less damaging and expensive. The cheapest and fastest way to do this is actually with fire. That's right, fire managers can use fire during cooler and wetter times of the year to reduce the amount of fuel available for wildfires. Here's how it's working in areas on the Payette National Forest. Large areas of land are designated as management units. Using technology and experience, fire managers determine the areas with the greatest risk of being negatively impacted by wildfire, and they make a plan of how to reduce that risk. On days when the fire can be controlled, areas are burned near roads to create what's called a black line, eventually ending up with a buffer around the whole area. When that's complete, a helicopter is used to put understory fire in the middle of that area. At these cooler and wetter times of the year, only 40 to 60 percent of the area will burn, creating a patchwork of conditions which are very good for wildlife habitat and forage. Now that the area is surrounded by black line and the faster burning fuel is removed, fire managers can burn some of the unburned areas when the vegetation is drier, resulting in even more diversity in the forest. So how do these activities affect potential future wildfire? The area has less fuel to burn, which reduces the fire activity. There are established roads where wildfires can be controlled, which reduces cost and exposure of firefighters when fighting a wildfire. And by working in these areas, local resources are more familiar with the fuels and fire behavior and are better able to respond to wildfires. What does this mean for the people living in these communities? Well, where there is fire, there is smoke. Wildfires create large amounts of smoke for long periods of time. Reducing fuel using planned, controlled fire will also create smoke, but smaller amounts and for shorter periods of time. Fire managers work very hard to consider the health of their communities when they are going to add smoke to the air. They try and burn on days when the smoke will lift. They don't burn too late into the afternoon so that there is less smoke produced at night, and if the smoke looks like it will not lift, they will burn less area or not at all. They know, though, that taking on some smoke now could save those communities from more of an impact from wildfire in the future.